All right, y'all, you guys ready to put this amazing story behind us to make our hero character? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charm City Gamer here, and welcome to the finale of the Legacy Storyline with Sky Omega here. Once we beat Justine, we'll be happily picking up the, uh, what is it, what's it, she's, the last thing in Legacy. And then when we do our hero character, we'll pick up Drop the Baggage. We won't complete it, though, till we, we won't be able to complete it personally till we well we'll get the last in the past and it's back to the future once we get those fixed when we do then we'll do it on the heel character anyways <sighs> once we complete this we'll have the lock waiting for us at least with that one there's no ghost achieves anyways let's get rocking based on how much justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately seems like what you're doing is working not that i had any doubt me neither and with WrestleMania right around the corner. <laughs> what are you thinking? Trying to stop avoiding her and let's rock. Let's rock her world. Take that championship that should be ours. I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face to face. And I know exactly where to do it. With her it ends. Justine tight, Justine pants, WrestleMania Marrows, and Molly Holly herself. Let's get it, so I can have everything in my rise. Well, except for that one achievement, that's the point. The achieve, and of course, whatever's on the heel side. Let's wrap this up, shall we? I didn't even get a chance to read that. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See... After the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know, you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, they threw praise on your name after you retired, when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia, but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend, the best of her time. 
maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful pig. You're a selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then. Because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure. You've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Should have been me. Who she thinks she is, Dolph Ziggler? Regardless, that shit was heavy. I guess that's it, y'all. One last match. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye to Sky's run yet. Might as well make some final upgrades. Let's do this. Let's chat with Sean first. We'll save Ava last because she's been with me this entire journey. Just about. You're planning on stealing my title tonight? <laughs> Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? No, it means Mr. WrestleMania. Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. I got a long way to go before I can have that. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match. Especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kid. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once-trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars. We are just built different. Amen to that, Sean. Amen to that. Thanks. I think...
seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. It is different, Tom. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Obviously me. Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Nobody's perfect, LJ. Least of all your aunt. But she's a good person. Even when she was trying to get you to turn against your tag team partner, yes, people talk around here, she thought she was looking out for you. Well, now she's just looking out for herself. That may be. I'm just wondering if that's always going to be the case. I mean, I know you don't need her. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together? That would be something both the friend and the fan of me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. Hey, partner. WrestleMania! Can you believe it? Nope. Would it come off as entitled if I said that I can? I mean, I'm here, and it's happening. Aw, LJ. Regardless of what you do, you'll always come off as entitled to me. <laughs> Ava! <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, kick her ass out there. After everything she's put you through, you deserve it. Good luck. Thanks, Ava. All right, one last match, one last time to steal the show. Let's do this. Here she is making her WrestleMania debut. This is a man. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Madrid, Spain, the Latina sensation. Sky Omega! To basically grow up in WWE, then to appear at WrestleMania against your aunt who brought you in? You couldn't write a better story. This isn't just a match, it's a therapy session with suplexes, submissions, and strikes. Champion Justine! 
This certainly isn't the first time she's been on the big stage, but for Justine, this WrestleMania will be like no other as she squares off against her own niece. You might worry that Justine might hold back at some point as maternal or protective instincts or whatever take over, but I'm fairly confident she doesn't have any of those, so this is gonna be fun. And there's something special in the air these days when the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more heart-wrenching than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals. And that's exactly what we've got. Wrestle freaking media for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Every generational death match has led to this. It goes back a lot further than that, Saxton. A lifetime of idolizing her legendary aunt culminates here in this explosive showdown. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Okay, so no cutscenes, just beat him. All right, fine. Can do. I'll enjoy this. Jeez. Suplex. The champ now absorbing a little damage. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. <laughs> belly to belly. Vicious. And she can't find a response for this assault. And she has to, to rely on her to instincts to turn things around. Oh, it is over. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. Shoulder up, championship still in sight. Man, oh man. Now it is. One last Looking morning, son. Oh, looks like, yeah, an abdominal stretch. Oh, let me see that. Nice. We can have a new champion. Two. Would you have thought it possible with the way this superstar debuted that she'd be standing tall with the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? I'd have called it possible, but unlikely, Cole. What a match. And there's no question whose moment this is. Whatever and whoever may have defined this superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! It may be the end of this rivalry, but this champion story in WWE is just getting started. Is that it? Like, we win the title and then Molly attacks us? That can't be it. That would be such a weak ending. Uh, it's got to be more. Has to be. I bet you Bianca would do the same thing on the future path. We'll find out when we do the heel run.
tell you to be careful around Molly. Yes, but you also blindsided me at Elimination Chamber and tried to make my WWE career all about you, Justine. Sure, but then Molly tried to make me making it all about me all about her, attempting to steal my stolen spotlight. Sort of making my point here. Now we're getting off track. Our ruthless digressions listeners don't want to hear us debate what happened beforehand. Okay. So we're going to retain the title in a match. Okay, that's cool. They want to hear your thoughts starting that second WrestleMania match. Well, I was just coming off an epic victory and the culmination of a battle against the one person I thought I truly trusted. But then I was in your corner, wasn't I? Only because you knew you needed to earn my forgiveness. Oh, you couldn't have stayed mad at me for giving it another go. Especially after it worked out for you in the end. And it was a pretty epic go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it now, a seven-time women's champion? And counting. You forget, I'm not done yet. I'll hit eight before you ever do. What can I say? I learned from the best. But seriously, who do you see as your next biggest competition? Well, I was planning on giving Ava a title opportunity, but I think she's got her eyes on the Raw Women's Championship. So as for my biggest competition, I don't know. Could be someone already in the locker room, or someone still making their way to WWE. There are more talented wrestlers getting opportunities to show their skills than ever before. That's for sure. We've come a hell of a long way. Still a long way to go, too, but we've got to start somewhere, right? And if I've learned anything from you, it's that you can't keep waiting for the gatekeepers to give you permission. You have to fight for what you want. And I'm looking forward to the fight that the superstars of tomorrow bring. When they're ready, I'll be ready, too. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The SmackDown Women's Champion is issuing an open challenge and is ready to fight absolutely anyone who wants to take the championship off their hands. Justine, that's not what I said. It's kind of what you said. You're totally twisting my words. I heard what I heard. I can't defend against everyone. Seems like what someone who was scared would say. Ooh, I hope you betray me again. Just so I can beat you again. Name the time and place. One betrayal coming right up. One more morning sun, and I'll wrap this up. Here's your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Latina Sensation, Sky Omega. Won the title and defended the same night at Mania. How about that? to help them any of their view. Legacy my right story. You've completed the Legacy my right story. So you can replay the Legacy and make different choices to experience alternative outcomes, play optional content you might have missed, or go and play the locks or if you haven't already. You can also export your my right character using other WWE 2K23 modes. So we're just missing three achieves from the Legacy. The two that are glitched and me turning on Ava. One second. Okay, I'll just export it. Hang on, is she there? Hold on, let me see. Oh, yep, there she is. Three times, actually. Which one's which? Hold on, I gotta, f I gotta find which one's mine. <laughs> because I can't tell which one's which. Hold on. 
Well, guys, as you can see... Sky story is all done. I can't go back in there. Because, you know, it won't let me. <laughs> so, all that's left now is to create the heel character. And... Um... See what happens there. And, of course, the lock story. My gym, my faction. So, I guess next time we see in terms of a female character, it'll be my heel one. And we'll start that story. But for now, we're going to focus on the lock and my GM. And universe, of course. So, till next time, you guys know what to do. Follow me on Twitter, at SpiderQueenAJ and Reborn Role Model, for all video updates. And if you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And to those that follow the journey from, from, uh, wait a minute. To those that follow the journey from episode one of it, all the way, f all the way up to episode... All up to episode. All up to episode 19 here. I deeply appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Until the next big video or whatever we produce, see you guys later. Thanks for this magical 19 episode run. And I can't wait to see how our hero character shakes out for the legacy. So, till then, peace out. Love you guys.